This is the 40-Year-Old Boy on the Mike Schmidt Podcasting Network. I'm not making any money talking these days. Good Christ, 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 Christ. Hey, what's happening? Mike Schmidt, 40-Year-Old Boy Podcast. How are you? I am fine. Thank you for asking. Huh? That's what you get when I do the show. <laughs> I wear this and I talk like that. And it's heard on your machine. On your machine? Yes, your big podcasting playing machine. <laughs> God knows everybody has one in their house. Uh, I don't know why I'm still wearing this, although it's cool because then I get to hear my uh, voice the way I hear my voice. I, uh, I'm deaf, folks. I have tinnitus. I'm Pete Townsend uh, with n- none of the talent. But I have, <laughs> I have all of the ear pain and none of the talent of Pete Townsend, so that's good news. Uh, and Eddie Vedder uh, does not admire me at all. Mm-hmm. Uh, I admire him, conversely. So I'm an anti-Pete Townsend. I'm, I'm uh, Pedro Townsend, his Mexican cousin who nobody likes. All right. Uh, the 40-Year-Old Boy Podcast, thank you. Please subscribe uh, and uh, go ahead and buy Year One Download Sets and Skull Pie T-shirts. Those are great. Everybody loves them. And uh, you can subscribe to the show on iTunes. You can go to MikeSchmidtComedy.com and sign up there. And, uh, and uh, no, you can't. There's subscription links. Yeah, they're, they're there. You can subscribe there. And then that, that, I say subscription links. It's literally a hyperlink that takes you to iTunes. So if you want to just go to iTunes and not visit my website, who can blame you? Although I'd go look at my website because it's green. Pretty and gray. So uh, this week we talk about me buying things I shouldn't buy. And we talk about uh, me uh, going to the store. I go to a Target. There's a Target that gets mentioned. Perhaps they'll send me free things because I've gone ahead and mentioned them on a very popular podcast. <coughs> one that is burning up the airwaves. One that is taking America by storm. That is all of the Americans who like to wear earbuds. Uh, and that's not many, by the way. I was on the oh, take this. I was on a fucking plane last week. Get this. And I I uh, I have to have music to travel now. That's who I am. Have to have my iPod to travel. So uh, I, I'm in the airport and I pull out my I, and I said to my wife in the car. Did I say this in last week's show? Did I? No. I'm in the car and I said to Karen, you know what? What if I didn't bring my headset, my headphones? That'd be five hours of death. And she's like, well, I, you know, you bring them with you everywhere. And I go, I know, but it's usually in my computer bag. But if I don't, then I got to buy fucking vending machine earbuds, which they've got in the goddamn airport, which cracked me up. Hey, you want to buy an iPod of a vending machine? Of course, because I'm sure your complaint department is lickety split with any complaint. <laughs> So I go ahead and I, I look and I, I have my, I get into the airport and there they are, my headset. Oh, it's fantastic. I got my iPod, I got my earbuds, and I got a Bose uh, set of earbuds, folks. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to brag. I got a lot of dough. Uh, not anymore. I spend it on Bose earbuds. But, uh, so they're, they're, you know, they're fancy and I'm all excited. So then I get on the plane, and they're like, uh, you know, and, and when you get on the plane, you know, there's that like conga line of everybody trying to get their fucking seats. And then when you got to stop at your seat, you've got to go through your bag. And get your stuff really fast, and then jam it into the the overhead, and so they can get their seats. And you, I feel like I'm putting people out. So I go ahead and I grab my uh, biography of the Dynamite Kid, and I grab my water, and I grab my trail mix, and I grab uh, uh, my iPod and my and I the headset, and I yank it out, and I, I put everything away, and I'm like, whoo, and I sit down. And uh, then they start with the fucking announcements, and it's like, guess what? Time to tune out for five hours on the plane. I take my headset, boom, earbud, boom, fucking plastic thing gone, spike. Oh! Literally, I've got like a cushiony, like, hey, this fits right in your ear and you can listen. Hey, jam this in your temple and die. It's a fucking <laughs> spike where my earbud was. The fucking, the mold is gone. The plastic thing is gone. And I'm like, dude, that can't be happening. Five hours, I'm trapped in a window seat. I gotta go five hours with no music. That's not happening. I don't care if I gotta fucking slug the old man next to me and make him hum show tunes. I'm getting entertained on this motherfucking flight. So, I sure enough, I, 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 I'm looking around, I have no idea what to do. You know what I did? Guess what I did? Did I fashion a crude earbud out of a napkin? And uh, No, I didn't even bother. I went cushiony earbud, jammed the spike into my left fucking ear, so I had to it as, as fucking far as I could. So I, could, I hoped it went right into my brain and just pumped the music of the brain right into my fucking cerebellum for the entire flight, and I would forget about everything and just die. <laughs> Honestly, I did not care. I just went, I said, all right, earbud, boom, boom, jam, jam, jam. I wedged it as far as I could into my head, just so any ambient noise was gone, and the only thing I could hear was music and blood dripping. That's it. That's all I wanted to do. Uh, that was probably best for the podcast itself. All right, so I should have told that story instead of Loose Meat Asia. All right, so... Uh, Go to MikeSchmidtComedy.com, subscribe to this show, and uh, and uh, tell your friends. Let's get them on board. Let's get them watching the YouTube vi- the YouTube videos. I am far too fucking hilarious to be doing this into the into the ether and having nobody care. I'm tired of having nobody care. I need to get people on board so I can do something and make some money out of this goddamn thing. Honestly, can we all do that? You're one at Skullpire, great, but let's let's all work toward it. The greater good.